Stop the presses, men, please. There's new creatures that I need to stab in the eye before they rip off all eight of my limbs and make some weird decor out of it. Unfortunately for these red ants, though, that does mean I'm about to murder their entire clan. I'm like Itachi, but in a more insecty type way. Plagan Ants is currently having an event where I can summon out this eldritch looking being, and I get 200 gears by murdering others. When asked if I would kill someone for my own profit, the answer is clearly an astounding, I could profit off killing people this whole time? So of course I jumped right at it. All right, murder their mother. They love her very dearly, but unfortunately I'm too strong. And actually my army of ants, if you want to make like a really bad song and stay with me for a second, we need to kill this guy. He's just in the way of summoning the eldritch horror. Go ahead, rip his legs off. What's he gonna do, jump around without him? I don't think so. Go, get him, stab him, and then kill him. It's a beautiful cycle. This event is a little odd though, cause there's nothing that I can just immediately harvest for a bunch of stuff. So I need to make sure I'm getting as many of these little thingies as humanly possible, so I don't go crazy. One of those just causing a mass fight with a bunch of fire ants. Win, win, we can do it. We could have put aside our differences, but where's the fun in that? Rip each other to shreds. It's pretty much exactly my mentality when I used to play t-ball as a young kid. There he is, eat him. Just apps, no, no, don't eat the aphid fire ant. That wasn't supposed to happen, oh no. How did we already fail? It just began. Oh, eat him too. No, they're, they're, they're perfectly attacking the ones that are out of position. Who's the fire ants tactician? Where did you hire him from? I'll pay him double to come work for me instead. And a special thank you to Mosaic Chronicles for sponsoring today's video. Mosaic Chronicles is a beautiful puzzle game sporting over 50 different stained glass puzzle pieces that you're tasked with solving to uncover the stories hidden within. And as Mosaic Chronicles is more of a chill slash cozy based gameplay experience, they've lovingly provided you the option to choose your difficulty on each puzzle, letting you pick the preferred gameplay style for you, whether you want a little bit more of a challenge or would just rather, you know, embrace the chill cozy experience. And I'll give you a little sneak peek, just look at these beautiful pieces you can create. I mean, how does someone even think of this one? Are you kidding me? This is awesome. So for beautiful, laid back and fun, unique stained glass puzzle solving game alongside with the chill gameplay experience and wonderful stories going along with each individual piece so you can learn more and more about the world as you make it is right up your alley go ahead and click the link in the description down below to get mosaic chronicles for yourself or if you're an independent person and think oh kate i don't need your help the game is out on steam the apple app store and the google play store you can find it download it get to relax and and now if you'll need me i'll just be staring at this one puzzle piece for approximately way too long of a time. Get back, body block, get him, get him, eat him. My almost perfect defense. It's crumbling all around me. Oh, he's murdered, sweet. Just keep on stabbing him. You got it. What can a fire ant do? Nothing. That's the common saying in this ant world. And it's, oh my gosh, it's hard to see him with all these cool looking sunglasses. Go ahead and disband. He's not gonna be able to kill anybody. And is this a free little acorn over here? I do believe this is more gears for my special event creature. Thank you, game. And a daily quest done. Sweet. What are the rest of these? Easy enough. Killing termites should work out fine. I'm just going to place the banner of I'm Cade Coolness, and then I just have to wait ever so patiently. I'm waiting so patiently that I am now bored. Where are you guys? Oh, there we go. Thank you. All right, rip the young ones to shreds. It's unfortunate they never really get chances to fight back, but, you know, it's an anti-ant world. What are you going to do? Another daily quest easily completed. And another acorn easily eaten. Thank you, Dr. Seuss, for providing me the rhyme lyricism to say that. Well, lucky, another acorn. I'm going to have this event creature before I know it. I just saw another one spawn in. Hey, excuse me, scary mini boss. Just, <laughs> I want the acorns, not you yet. And they just keep popping in around. What is this luck right now? Hello? Can you just keep doing that game, please? I just went up like a hundred in the creature event gear thing. Lady luck, I see what you do for me. All right, men, do not worry. Look at all the stars I have. I'm just like anybody else except better. Summon out all my creatures. That makes all his gear up and then, yep, just absolutely destroy them. Oh, you idiot, you've been stunned and paralyzed and, well, blitzkrieged. Like I said, look at all the stars I have. What do you think you can do? Nothing. You just have to sit here and get eaten, which is very grim sounding. I realize that after I've said it. One swift victory in, and three stars at that. Simply six more to go. I forgot you look like that. That is horrifying. I know eventually if I just keep being really cool and winning all my fights extremely easily, I can go up into the like diamond ranking and that's where the really, really crazy strong creatures would all start to come in. But I mean, after watching all of this, I kind of think I'm on my way. You got it. Hornet v Hornet, who wins? The answer, probably mine. He's like super strong. All right, let's go eat their mother. Hmm. 
one guard. This is probably gonna be a pretty fair fight if I had to say he's dead. Oh, sweet victory. How you taste so delicious. I think I've also just realized a pretty easy exploit to doing this. Instead of just finding a player and risking losing, I can just fight Professor Oak, who is uh, not the world's most brilliant tactician, nor does he really have any strong <laughs> troops. So I can just, I can steamroll this poor old man and easily rack up my wins. Thank you, Professor Oak, for all you do. All right, give me just one second while I do that three more times. Here, have a fun transition. That was stupidly easy. Thanks. How are we doing? Not even half? That's worrisome. However, to complete my daily quest book, I need to defeat one more creature. I also need legs if I want to upgrade this creature that I'm going to be getting. So, to make a long story short, we need to kill this mini boss. All right, team. Be careful. He can kill you in like one hit. This is... Oh, he's got a big old health bar on him, too. What's he doing? Retreat. Oh, it's the tail whip attack. I've seen this in Legends. It didn't hit anyone. He sucks. Perfect. We'll be able to kill him before we know it. What's he doing now? Oh, God. Oh, it's the throw up attack. Oh, no. He's acting like my cats after they eat a little bit too much. Perfect. Perfect dodge. And now he's he's mad at something. I don't know. Oh, God. He's mad at us. This is going good. We'll repeat this as many times as we need. He's gonna... He's puking. He's puking again. Run. Run, team. No, I think he got like half of us. Okay, he got a lot more than half of us. Wow. That's fine. I've got a limitless supply of you guys. I don't know where he's gonna... Okay, there is pretty much no one left alive. All right. Watch out. He's gonna charge. Just hope he doesn't charge in our direction. Ooh. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Ideally, he just keeps doing his tail swipe attack because no, he's puking. His tail swipe attack is so easy to dodge. The puke, however, not so much. Don't worry, team. After intense research, I figured out his puke. That sounds weird in theory. I will. Oh my gosh. So, and he always charges somewhere where he's facing because he's stupid. And then he always spins his puke to the left. Meaning, okay, never mind. He spinned it to the left four out of four times. This is just the one, <laughs> the one time he switched it up. Are you kidding me? He's evolving as the fight goes on. Oh no. Oh, we finally got him like below half. Watch out for his tail. See guys, it's all about perseverance. It's like that one image of the dude mining for diamonds, but instead it's murdering a vine garoon. Yes, he just keeps doing the tail swipe attack. Not only the easiest thing to dodge, but also makes it where I can get back to biting him much, much quicker. Okay, quick, everyone retreat to me. He's either going left or right. Follow, follow, follow me, follow me, follow me. Get through, get through, get through. Dude, that didn't work. You guys gotta work. He's puking again. Oh god. Why don't you guys stick to me like glue, please? It'd be so easy if you just follow. He's puking three times in a row. All right, he's spamming, so he sucks. He's puking four times in a row. What's going on? Game, what? What's your code right now? Please. Just, I want to beat the boss. You got him. Just keep, keep eating him, I guess. Okay, and he's charging. Yep. He's so close to death, man. You can do it. Think of the loved ones you're protecting back at home. Think of how much profit I'm gonna have after you beat this guy for me. Do whatever you have to do to kill him before he kills you. Commit a war crime. I don't care. What's he doing now? He's puking. That's fine. You can kill him before the puke kills you. You can do it. Kill him before it kills you. Yes. Did I get him? I think I got him. I think all of us just died at once. Get out of my way. I have to go see if my men did it. Did our sacrifices touch the lives of millions? Is he dead? No, oh, he's still alive. What if we bite him like one more time with all 20 of us? Is that going to be enough? So he, yeah, he didn't even have any health. Stupid vine garoon. I did get over a thousand legs though. So what's this put me at? I haven't gone up at all. Oh, wait, I can just pay to get the sorry wallet. A lot of people ask me, Kate, did you really just spend a hundred dollars to summon a creature? Yes. I said sorry wallet, didn't I? All right. Attack him. Ghost Mantis? Doesn't look like the ghost I know. Some of face. Good thing he dies uh, pretty easily, Capture. Oh yeah, look at that. My daily quests are done now too. <laughs> Some things work out. All right, summon another no. one. There's a creature nearby. Oh, I have to wait for him to be creature captured. Capture creature. How you doing in here, Mr. Ghost Mantis? Hanging out? Enjoying your time? We tried to give you the coziest VIP suite possible. You know, nothing but sand and dirt. Also, I've got 500 honeydew saved up. I'm just going to increase my fusion chance because that's one mantis added to the army summon another very quickly rip his lungs outside of his body and then put him back into capture he should assimilate quite nicely and then like go ten and trunks buddies you're fusing together ghost mantis level two um i've got 13,000 gems though i think you can see where this is going how many of these guys can i make before i go broke <laughs> I've managed to get two more little guys, so of course I will be fusing them together. 
And then of course, I'm fusing the two two stars for an ultimate three star ghost mantis. But they're still one level higher and I intend to see it. I've waited so patiently and now it is time. Ghost mantis, 58% chance. Please fuse into a four star for me. Yes! Oh, it's like Christmas, but without the Chris or Mus. It makes my fifth five-star creature. All right, let's test this guy out. Professor Oak, I'm coming to you. Ghost Mantis, you look scary. Uh, kill him. How much damage do you do against a one-star scorpion? A lot. All right. How about that spider? You, you gonna be able to take him out too? Yes, pretty easily. All the stragglers, you're just in, you're out. You're in, you're, oh my God, hello. I'm just gonna drop my rhinoceros beetle down so he can deal with all the ants. He did not deal with all the ants. All right, bombardier beetle. Excuse me, I'm trying to go inside. Oh look, a regular mantis. I'm just much larger than the normal ones. Not to mention much cooler. I three shot him. So the uh, official opinion on the four star ghost mantis, if I had to give one after watching him devour the queen like this, very, very strong.